Hello and welcome back to Star Stable. We are here in Veildale because we got the new quest now. I think instructions. Uh, hold on, what was it? Um, new instructions from the Druids. So we can finally figure out what we get to do now that we are liked with the um, Sun Circle. So, oh uh, yeah, let's talk to Elizabeth. The Druids are very happy with your progress. They are so impressed that they want you to go right on to the next step in the exercises. It is very unusual for someone to progress to the next level of the secrets of the Sun Circle so quickly. It is quite an honor, but a well-deserved one. The Council believes your potential is enormous. Do you want to go on? Yes, of course I do. This is why I'm here. Very well. I don't need to introduce you to your instructor. As usual, you can call for him at the rune stone by the mountain paddock. Speak with me again when you have reached the level popular with the sun circle. Okay. Oh, you've got more quests for me. Okay. Oh, no, it's the same one. <laughs> Ride up to the mountain paddock and call for your instructor so you can continue tr your training. See you soon. Okay, let's, let's go call the instructor. Do we get to do, like, brand new exercises? Because that would be fun. Okay. Uh, let's call the instructor here. Oh, I think I'm sort of standing on him. Whoops. Sorry. Hmm. I have received new information. Now we can continue with your training. It is great pleasure to have a talented student like you. I have a few new lessons for you. Oh, that's great. But enough talking. Let's work to make you popular with the Sun Circle already. Okay, well, I'll come back and do the dailies, because I don't think we'll be getting too popular today. Oh, James has got a quest for me. But anyway, um, <clears throat> uh, the little girl, um, Gretchen, is still missing. I'm guessing she didn't show up here after we rescued her from the bear. Um, so <laughs> let's talk to Gunther and see if we can find out where she is. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mira. Gretchen hasn't come home yet. Where can she be? You said she was coming straight home. Well, she told me she was. Gunther's phone rings. Hello, Gretchen. Where have you been? You were supposed to come home a long time ago. What? Are you lost? Where are you, Gretchen? Aha. Uh -huh. Um. Okay. Quick. <laughs> Mira, Gretchen says she is in a place with big machines and the ground is black. It smells like gas, she says. Where can that be? Can you ride there and bring her home safely? I can, um, try. Smells like gas. Big machines. Is that the oil field next to Baroness? Let's go check out. Okay, there is nothing on the map, but she could be here. I don't... Th is the ground black? Well, it sort of is, yeah. Um... Is she here? Oh, there she is! Hi, Gretchen, what you doing over here? You're lucky, um, Mr. Campbell isn't here. Hello, Mira. I don't really know where I am. I was on my way home and went over a river on a bridge and saw a rabbit. I ran after it and then I saw a gondola lift and then I saw racing track and a bit further on I found this weird place. Okay. I know. I promise to go straight back home, but this time I really will go to Fort Pinter without leaving the road. I promise. You say I just need to follow the road in that direction? Then I'll do that. I'll see you in Fort Pinter. Why do I have the feeling that she's going to see something and go off somewhere else again? <laughs> okay, uh, let's go tell her parents that she's coming. Supposedly coming. Okay, Gretchen says she's coming home this time. Hey, Mira, so Gretchen is on her way here. I hope that she comes straight home this time. She can get a li little distracted sometimes. Yep, <laughs> she's not coming home because there's a clock. But let's talk to James and see what he wants. Hi, James. Long time not no see. 
Hello, Mira. I am completely worn out after many long, sleepless nights. Can you believe it? What? No, it isn't because I have been playing video games all night. It's something else. I haven't gotten a good night's sleep for a long time. I've been tormented by horrible nightmares every night. Oh, that's not good. Do you think you can help me? I'm not a, a nightmare expert, but I can try. Thank you. I've been nervous wreck from this lack of sleep, and I can't get any work done. The worst part is that I can't remember, remember my dreams. As soon as I fall asleep, I wake up again, all cold, sweaty, and scared out of my wits, but I can never remember the dream. I have a feeling it has something to do with something in my past, but what could it be? Can someone really interpret another person's dreams? In that case, it might be possible to find out what my dreams really mean. Hmm. Mrs. Holdsworth, you say? You think she might have some tips for us? Maybe the old lady is really clever. Could you ask her? I'm not in the mood to travel myself at the moment. I'm a wreck. You already have a good relationship with her, right? If you bring this up with her, maybe it won't be so expensive for me. I'm always thinking about money. But yeah, let's go talk to Mrs. Holdsworth. She's smart. Maybe she knows what, what we can do about James's nightmares. Hi, Mrs. Holdsworth. James is having nightmares. So, the little kid is having nightmares then, and he can't remember them. Hmm, it sounds like he's dreaming about something he has blocked out, something horrible or traumatic from long ago. But to answer your question, yes, I can have a go at interpreting his dreams, but I will need your help. Okay, I'm here to help. Okay, turnips. <laughs> okay, a dream machine. I need to borrow Carney's strange contraption that he uses as a comparison machine up there at the vineyard. Ride over to him and ask if, if we can borrow it for a day or two. It is absolutely vital for us to be able to project James's dreams to us. Okay, yep. Then sleeping pills? To dream, you need to sleep. Even if James daydreams sometimes, it won't help us in this case. He needs to sleep like, um, like a bear in a hi in hibernation. To get him to do that, we'll need some sleeping pills, and the vet in Silverglade Village will most likely have some. Okay, the vet, yep, and turnips. We need dream turnips. They are normally used in this kind of dream project, and I know that Barney over by the silo grows excellent specimens to sell to dream researchers in Jorvik City. Ask Barney if we can have two turnips. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, um, let's start with Barney's turnips. Dream turnips, Barney. Here you go, take these dream turnips. Okay, thank you. We'll take them. Um, and the next one we have the vet in the village. Okay, I need sleeping pills. Hello, Mira. Beautiful day in Jorvik, isn't it? Sleeping pills? I don't hand those out ju to just anyone. That is powerful and dangerous medication. I know, but I really need it. Ah, you need the pills for a project with Mrs. Holdsworth to cure James's sleeping problem? I understand, that's okay then. Take this bottle. These sleeping pills are really for the lemmings up by the North Link who can't sleep because of all the road work going on up there. But now they have earplugs instead. <laughs> Cheaper and healthier. So take these, they should do the trick. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, lemmings have earplugs. <laughs> oh, poor things. Okay, let's go to Carney. Hello, Carney. I need your uh, machine thingy. Mrs. Holsworth wants to borrow my adorable contraption. Hmm. I have just ordered a new comparison machine so she can have my old one. You're welcome. She doesn't need to return it when she's done. I have my new one that just needs a little tuning. Okay. Okay, let's go to Mrs. Holsworth with all the three things that she needed.
Hello, Mrs. Holdsworth. I've got all the things you needed. Turnips? Very nice turnips. Now we need a cat to incubate them overnight to give them the necessary effect for our little dream project. That's just weird. I do have a cat somewhere. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> this is just getting weird. I can't see the cat or the turnips. Okay, pills. Good job with the sleeping pills. Prescribe prescribed to lemmings. Give me a break. And the last one. Perfect. This old machine should do the trick. Okay. What next? Oh, okay. We need three people now. As I'm sure you know, James is Alex's little brother, and I'm sure she knows more about James's past than James does himself. I think you should tell Alex about what James is going through at the moment and ask her to come here tomorrow when we are ready. Alex was here earlier and said she was going to go speak with Conrad, the blacksmith. I'm sure you'll find her there. Okay, that's easy. That's close. James, tell little James when we are going to start the project. Since he is the main person involved, it will work best if he's on time. Okay, we'll tell Jane. Linda has a special gift and sometimes has visions. We need her as the final link between us who are awake and the sleeping James. Can you ride over to the vineyard and ask Linda to come and help us? I'm sure she is up there or in the library. Okay, I think I saw her next to Baroness or something, but yeah, okay, let's talk to um, Alex first because she's right here at Conrad Smithy I think that's where the green is there she is I can see tin can oh he's got a quest for me too hi Alex hello so my little brother is having nightmares of course I'll try to help I'm sure I remember more of his past than he does that little scatterbrain Tomorrow? No problem. I'll see you at Mrs. Holdsworth's. Bye for now. Okay. Oh, I've got something updated in my journal about James. Okay, I'll read that later. Let's go talk to James now. James, we need you tomorrow. Tomorrow? So soon? Perfect. I'll definitely be there. This has to stop. See you tomorrow. If I don't sleep in. <laughs> I don't think you will if you're having really bad nightmares. Okay, let's go get Linda from uh, the winery. Okay, is she here? There she is, behind Baroness. Hi, Linda. Hello, Mira. James is having nightmares and you need me to help as a kind of vision link between you and you, James? Yes, we do, actually. Of course I'll help, but I don't have a horse, so can you give me a ride to Mrs. Holdsworth's cottage? It doesn't matter that it won't start until tomorrow. I'll stay overnight at her house. She's old and wise and has a lot of interesting stories to tell. Okay, yeah, I can give you a lift. I love giving people lifts in this game. <laughs> Okay, let's ride to Mrs. Holtzworth. There you go, Linda. We're here. Thank you for the taxi ride. I'm not a taxi, <laughs> but you're welcome. Great, Mira. I'll continue with the preparations. You wonder why we can't start the dream tro project right away? You are so impatient. Am I? There is a lot of preparation to be done. The turnips need to be incubated by a cat overnight. I, I still don't c get that. <laughs> so we don't, we can't do it until tomorrow anyway. You have to be patient, my friend. Okay, I'm patient. Okay, seeing as we got a clock on this one, we'll continue next week. Uh, yeah, uh, this is getting interesting. I wonder what James is dreaming about. And I am so close to level 18. How close am I? 800? I'm not sure. Is it 
54,000 where you level up. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm so close. I wonder if I get that next week. But yeah, um, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!